Hi there, my name is Corey Close, and I'm the head women's basketball coach here at UCLA, and welcome back to Coach's Corner. We're really honoring Coach Wooden, um, and it's uh, October is his birthday month, and so we're talking about his pyramid of success, and we'll even continue that on a little bit in November. But this week, we're talking about second level living. Now that's not his term, that's women's basketball's term. I shared with you in the past that the first year, maybe even two, all we talked about was the bottom level of the pyramid of success, building our foundation. And it was about work ethic, and it was about enthusiasm and the relationships in between. Second level living, the next level of the pyramid was, had to do with self-control, alertness, initiative, intentness. And, you know, it's interesting. It's sort of like at first you're just trying to develop habits to get through. Habits are like the very basics. Like if you want to survive in college basketball, you got to have those bottom five levels. And then when you're ready to add that next tool to the toolbox, so to speak, that next step in your development, now you're talking about self-control, alertness, initiative, intentness. Intentness has to do with purpose. You know, you don't just show up and, okay, I hope I get better today. Like, there's a plan. You have to have intentionality if you want your basketball um, career to continue to move forward and also your personal development. And then there's initiative. You know, like, so much of the time we let the world come at us. You know, we let other people decide how things go. No, we don't have to be a victim of our circumstance. We can choose to have initiative and a growth mindset in every single thing we choose. But we, don't, we need to go attack the world. We don't need to have a basketball game or anything else attack us. And then there's alertness. You know, I think so much of the time, even, you know, I was walking down Bruin Walk and about over half the people were looking down at their phone doing this, you know. Alertness means raise your chin up, look around, and try to think of the world of what can I give, not what can I get, not what's good for me, but have alertness to how can I contribute to an organization, how can I contribute to a team. And then lastly is self-control. You know, we all are tempted. You know, I'm tempted um, to pursue comfort. I'm tempted to sometimes, you know, not plan well enough and that affects others. You know, it's amazing though what self-control, having the sort of the awareness and then the choices to say, no, I'm going to um, act in a way that reflects the commitments that I've made. You know, we um, no longer do goal setting, we do commitment setting. And every week we give specific commitment um, goals that we're going to have. If you're going to call it a goal, it's going to be completely under your control and it's going to be process oriented. And that's what self-control is about, is that every week now what you've committed to having your choices be reflected in that. And our team teased because that was second level living for us as we built the culture of our program. And we're still in process. You never stop just nurturing the foundation, you never stop with second level living. But um, that next level of self-control, alertness, initiative, intentness, that's sort of the next step in a development process. And uh, we called it second level living in our process um, as building a program. And I hope it's a little bit of a benefit to you. You know, a friend of mine, actually, who's a uh, Division I coach, said to me, You know, why does anyone choose any other way? The pyramid of success has chosen to be the most effective tool there is. Why reinvent the wheel? Just follow Coach Wooden's pyramid, pyramid of success, and your days are probably going to go pretty well. Thanks so much for joining us for this week's version of Coach's Corner. Mm -hmm.